Well, Pat, last week in Berkeley, the Miami Dolphins learned the true meaning of the old saw, all things bounteous must sometime terminate. But in defeat to the Raiders, the Dolphins still looked almost as good defensively as they had when winning. In fact, both teams played a whale of a defensive ball game. This is the only game of the 1973 season that we have no recordings of the radio broadcast. Here's how this week in the NFL and the 1973 Miami Dolphins highlight film reported this game. The Miami Dolphins, led by coach Don Shula, were out to break a record by winning 19 straight games. Not the largest crowd ever to witness a Raider football game, over 74,000, thought it was time for someone to bone the Dolphins. Putting Miami on the skids is no easy task, as the Raider offense, which hasn't scored a touchdown yet this year, soon found out. Jake Scott, number 13, stopped this drive, but the Raiders' big D lashed back with relentless pursuit. The only thing rarer than a Miami mistake is a Miami mistake made by Larry Zonka. The Raiders not only forced Larry to fumble, but recovered it and got the ball in close enough for the ageless one George Blanda to boot his first to four field goals. The Oakland defense continued to hound the Dolphins converging in packs and swarms to smother Miami's sputtering offense. The Oakland offense itself was not overwhelming, but four times they cranked it up and got 46-year-old George into position. George's fourth field goal gave him seven for seven for the year and gave the Raiders a 12-0 lead. It wasn't until late in the fourth quarter that Bob Greasy was able to crack the silver and black defense. This throw to number 88, Jim Mandich. But the touchdown with 107 left wasn't enough as the Oakland Raiders snuffed the Miami win streak at 18 with an inspired 12-7 victory. The loss was sobering, but Don Shula quickly put it in proper perspective when he stated, maintaining the win streak would have been nice, but it wasn't our objective by a long shot. Our main objective is to get to the playoffs. That's all that matters. 